Hey guys, it's Thursday and I hope you've all had a great week. I am on here today with a little bit of a shocking bit of information. This little girl is going to be going to a new home and I don't think anyone's more shocked by it than me. If you watched my last couple of videos, um, in some of them I mentioned that I am interested in getting a, a high quality sleeping baby boy and that that would be an upgrade for Norman, who he's not in the room right now, but he's my little Leah kit. He is an air dry paint baby. He's kind of shiny. The details aren't great on him. He has an adorable face. And of course he was my first reborn and the family is all pretty attached to him. And Ellie Sue was a surprise for me because Ellie Sue, um, her name, the name that I have given her uh, is Penelope May. I don't think it'll stay that. She was originally, I was looking for a second reborn for my daughter, my stepdaughter, who has entered the hobby with me and was so in love with it. And I just really wanted to encourage this very positive, wholesome hobby that we had together. But when I got her, um, she's heavy, she's very floppy, she's weighted interestingly. Now I did, I did rework with her stuffing. I didn't reweight her, but I replaced the poly um, quilting that was in her belly with polyfill and I added polyfill to the top of her legs and into her head because she was very squeezable. Um, so when I got her I thought she actually probably was not the best fit for a nine-year-old. She's very good with the reborns but um, and then when I asked her without letting her know this baby was here what she wanted for her next baby she wanted a sleeping boy <laughs> so she's pretty much the opposite of that now i never thought that i would add a girl to my collection um but i fell in love with her because she is so cool and i have to tell you this may be my favorite kit actually I think that she has such an interesting expression. She has so much personality. She makes me laugh when I look at her and she's very, very sweet. I love her. So that brings me to what I was gonna <laughs> say why I had to get on here and say this. Now I'm going to change her into the outfit that she's going to go home to her mom with. These socks are not going with her. They actually belong to Niklaus, but she borrowed them because they looked cute. Um, it's, it's not, when you're looking to have a small collection, when you don't have unlimited space or you don't have desire for a lot of dolls, what I just discovered yesterday when I made the decision, it was a random decision that came to me in the shower actually, was that it's not necessarily about how much you love the kit, how, how great the kit is when you're t thinking long term, because I love her. Um, but it's about overall discovering what you love about the hobby. Now, if you love a big collection and you just want to get as many expressions and, and as many you know, t styles as possible, then, then that's different. For me, what I'm discovering is that the, number one, the relationship with the baby. I mean, look how she moves. She's just, she's very awesome. The relationship with the baby number one to me I wouldn't have you know a hundred kids or 20 kids in real life and so I think I'd have an even harder time having like a a play connection with that many different babies that may not be true I also don't have a whole lot of time but it's about um what you what you love most about the hobby and what I'm discovering is that I really love the realism and that's why I wanted to upgrade Norman, because to me, this baby has a lot of realism too. Now, obviously, anyone would discover within about 10, 15 seconds that the baby wasn't blinking or moving and it's supposed to be awake, that it's a doll. But to me, she still is extremely real looking. She moves realistically. Her, her I don't know if you'll be able to see this, I can't see what you're seeing, but her hands and her legs and her feet all have very realistic detail. Her painting is great. 
Um, but a sleeping baby is one that you can take out and it can continue to pass for a real baby. And I'm not sure that I even plan to take my babies out much, if at all. But for me, like that catch your breath moment when you're holding the baby and like holding the doll. I just like that. So my plan was to keep Niklaus, who is sleeping right now, um, is my open-eyed boy. Penelope May is my surprise open-eyed girl. And then I was going to replace Norman. But when I assessed the situation um, on the grand scale, and I thought about that he's, he's sweet and he's my first one and he's quote unquote the lowest quality he's the least expensive doll and i and you know i'm i'm the least concerned about damaging him because actually he feels durable because he i don't think he's varnished and i'm sure that's probably the opposite of what's true but i'm not concerned about like rubbing his paint off as much um and like everyone down to the dog loves him and my husband even said don't replace norman i like norman he's realistic to me that was a surprise because he would never admit that he, you know, he said he thought he would cute, but he never admit that he likes the babies, but then he did not want me to get rid of Norman. So when I assessed the situation overall, I decided that the best decision was going to be to go with what I originally wanted and to let go of like that need to have feeling that made me hold on to this girl in the first place. Uh, she's awesome. I mean, look at her. <laughs> she's so cool. But I, I guess I'm being true to what I originally wanted, which was a sleeping boy. <laughs> so Niklaus was my surprise. When I got him, I realized I still wanted a good sleeping boy. And Norman was already here. So somehow I'm ending up with three boys. I'm going to miss her. And I may regret it. But I don't have unlimited funds and I don't have unlimited space. So I just... I just thought, well, the, the best move is going to be to find her a new home. And uh, she found a new home within, I mean, the discussion started within, I would say, about a half an hour of, the, of making a, a soft post on Instagram. And I know where she's going, and this person loves her, and I know that she loves her. I'm not going to mention who it is because... Um, I'm going to let her do that and she's going to wait until she's home to do that. I don't think she's on YouTube, but some of my followers on YouTube are also on Instagram. So just to respect what I said, I'm not going to mention it, but she will stay in the community, at least in Instagram. And who knows, maybe if she ever wants to sell her again and I'm in a different spot, maybe I'll buy her back. So this outfit that I'm going to send her home in is very special, and I never put this on her. It's brand new. I just took the tag off, literally just now while I was talking to you. And it is a, it's from Koala Baby Boutique. It's a super soft pink um, sleeper. It has this beautiful pink rose on the, on the chest by the top button with this white satin ribbon, and then there's uh, lace, white lace ruffles around the collar and all the way down the snaps. And on the butt, there's ruffles across the butt with a white bow. So I'm going to send her in this. Now, she won't be leaving me until sometime by the end of February, possibly sooner than the end of February. But we're doing a couple of different payments just to make it easier. So she's going to stay here, but I'm going to get her dressed and pack up her stuff and, and sort of wrap her up and put her to the side to keep her um, protected. Just make sure that she stays in exactly the same condition she's in. She's going to stay, and I just changed her diaper like two days ago, so I'm going to let her keep this white onesie that um, came in a package that I bought for Niklaus from Mother Care. And when she arrived to me, she had a, a pink cupcake onesie, so everything will be going to her new mom, but I think a white onesie is an essential for a stylish girl like her. And I don't have a bow for her head that matches this perfectly because it is a pale pink and a white. And all of the bows that I have have an off-white, except for the red one, which is totally red with no white. But 
I do have some fancy looking bows, so it won't match perfectly, but she'll still look cute. And then her mom can replace it. And I'll, I'll have to put her aside and not play with her and stuff because just mentally I have to move on. The good news is I found my sleeping boy and he's shipping today <laughs> and hopefully we'll be here Saturday. I haven't told my husband yet, but um, that's just because he's been busy and not feeling well, so I don't want to put something not important on him that may annoy him. But I think he'll be glad to hear that Norman is staying. She doesn't even need a head bow. I'm going to take a peek and see if the camera is capturing her. Yeah, I'm gonna come in a little closer, I think. I'll probably pick the camera up right at the end. Now let's see how the bow looks. What did I do with it? There it is. Let's see how the bow looks, but I may actually just leave it off. See how the, this, it's a cream colored bow and it has two flowers, two different style flowers out of fabric. And then it has uh, two pearls and two rhinestones on it. Let's see her butt real quick before I t take the camera off the tripod. So here's the back. That bow is not laying flat, but hopefully it will when I settle her down. Oh, you look beautiful. You look, this is perfect. I bought this outfit when she was on her way to me. She hadn't even gotten here yet. And I, I bought it and uh, was waiting for the right time to put it on her. So that's kind of ironic. All right. Okay. Let me just get situated here. All right. So this may be the last video of Ben Her Box Packing that I will share of Penelope May. <laughs> She's looking at you. And here she is in her beautiful, beautiful outfit. So I'm, I'm grateful that I had time with her. I got to appreciate this sculpt and, and learn about the, the, the different ways that you can weight a baby because, um, and, the, and the different benefits to different styles of that because um, she came weighted very interestingly. Her butt is practically empty. Her chest is almost empty. She's very, um, she's f fluffy in the middle and she's very heavy at her back, but she, because of that, she cuddles amazingly. She's got a lot of room in her abdomen to move and she's extremely poseable. And I prefer that. I'm so happy for that. And she's heavy. She's five pounds, five ounces. Every other baby I have is like four, between four and four and a half pounds. So I may even reweight the new guy to make him heavy like this because I love it. And she's bald and um, I, to me she doesn't look unfinished. So I learned, I learned a lot, um, a variety I guess from her. But anyway, so we want to say we love you Penelope May. Thank you for sharing time. And thank you for coming by and watching my channel. I will uh, be back on to pack her up sometime in February when she's actually ready to go. I can't think of her sitting in bubble wrap for a month. And also, I'll be back on here when the new little baby arrives to share him with you guys. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Can't wait to hear from you and to watch all of your videos. Bye for now.